Yeah, so I took the time to go and remove a bunch of the lights that I had up Tuesday when I last worked on this castle. I figured it was probably best that I do that just because I was having issues already with the FPS drops and blah 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 and some glitching, some visual glitching, which was not helping. The good thing is that I've managed to get that done off stream so that you guys don't have to sit through a montage of me removing lights. You know what? Maybe black columns can work. Because if I use black columns, it looks, uh, it makes the lights kind of pop a little bit more maybe in the nighttime, I would think. Hmm. You know what? I like this idea. She likes- I think- I think black is also one of her favorite colors, so maybe this could work. Yeah, you know what? It's kind of growing on me, actually. I like this idea. Alright, we're gonna go with black pillars. I don't know if I want to go with a plain black wall, though. I gotta... Oh, I like this idea. I think I'm gonna go for something a little bit more grand with bricks. Alright, I'm gonna apply these on the walls for now. I mean, yeah, it's cool to have these textures, but if I'm gonna put paintings, then it doesn't really matter. I can't wait to put servants in this castle, man. We need some servants in here, because it looks empty. But I'm not gonna get servants until this thing is completely done. Maybe an all-female servant monastery? It's an interesting idea. I don't, I'm not really sure. I think I'll ask her. I might ask her when I get a chance and be like, hey, like, what kind of servants you want? Because, like, you know, there's so many from, like, different regions in the game, too. So they're all, like, they all have, like, their own aesthetics, I guess you could say. I think I'm a little unsure of what I want to do with the windows here because I remember now I was using the lighter stone and I liked the lighter stone with the with the windows but the only reason why was because of the pillars I used these pillars are completely different so maybe I'm not justified in using that here I'm hoping that uh, this weekend I can keep up with uh, with uh, making a couple more um, V rising shorts because uh I don't know, I think they seem to have done pretty well and I want to kind of make more and more of those kinds of shorts because when I post them on TikTok, I want the um, algorithm to re like recognize me as a mostly V Rising channel, I guess. What? Oh, I'm not supposed to remove. I need to... I'm stupid. <laughs> I'm like confused. I'm like looking at this like what? I'm pretty happy with how it's turning out so far. I need to uh, add some coffins in here. I don't have the materials to put them yet. I have materials at the other castle, but I'll go back and do that uh, once the time comes. And oh, I miss this hallway here. I'm like kind of, I like to look from like the bottom floor sometimes because then you catch like mistakes or things you didn't see before. So like right here, um, if I back away from this wall, here I have a certain wallpaper, which is fine. I might want to, you know, do something similar on the other side, so... Oh man, what kind of wallpaper did I use here? What the fuck? Hold on. Oh, I didn't even notice that. I used the different wallpaper there. Okay, I gotta remember to use this one then. But yeah, I, I spent a lot of time just like prepping for stream. Like, I, I spent like an hour before stream just prepping for stream. And sometimes I feel like that's not even enough time. Like if I had, if I know it's going to be a little bit longer stream or if I have something else going on that day, like an event or something, I mean, we could, we could talk up to, I mean, I'm talking like possibly an hour and a half, two hours of prep before stream. And even like, I don't know, like I, I spent a lot of time like editing too and just putting the thumbnails. The thumbnails are the hardest thing for me because I need a lot of them and I've gotten better uh, at them over time, but it's also not the easiest thing. I'm wondering if I should have done the third floor first. You know, it's funny because whenever I, it's time for me to like brainstorm ideas, I have a hard time sometimes just like thinking about ideas on my own. So what I do sometimes is I'll just, um, uh, I'll take some weed and then like the, the ideas just start flowing. Like I'm gonna be honest with you. <laughs> Like, the only reason- okay, it's not the only reason, but one of the reasons why I, decide, I decided to start uh, VTubing was because of weed. Like, I like I, I got into it, my brain was opened, I had an epiphany, and I said, I'm gonna be a VTuber, and that's what happened. 
true story. I feel like like my whole life I've I've been good at some things. Like I've been good at like playing multiple instruments, singing, you know, that kind of stuff. I come from like a music background. I even went to music school for a little bit. Um but I feel like my life has not aligned with that kind of lifestyle, unfortunately. So I've had to find other ways to use my existing skills uh, through different formats or different uh, purposes, if that makes sense. So like, you know, like getting my microphone to sound good, like that takes a lot of time to like get it just right. You know, that kind of it's just like the little quality details like that. And the thing, too, is I do like to watch like people who watch me, too. Like I like no one's ever like obligated to watch me. Right. Like I, I just want to make that clear. Like if I stream and, you know, you choose to watch someone else, good for you. <laughs> you know, like I, I really don't care, you know, because if I get like concerned about every single person and where they're at and da da da, it just gets so like it's so like mentally draining and it's just not worth it you know like for me it, it's more about when the person is here are they having a good time you know that's what i care about like are you are you enjoying yourself are you having a good old time how are you doing in the chat with the other peeps in the chat are they are they you know communicating as well uh, you know how's the dynamic there that's what i care about like i don't know like i feel like a lot of people come to my channel and they don't know what i'm supposed to be because i don't have anything like on my screen that's like evident like oh you're a dog you know like I, I literally have it in the description but i don't expect people to like read that you know when i when i started doing this like i didn't consider it a hobby i considered it a job you know, like, and, and there's nothing wrong with being like a hobby streamer. There's plenty of people out there who just do it for fun. I don't have the luxury of fun. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I really don't. Like, I feel like in a way, this is kind of like my last chance to do something decent with my life. So as pathetic as that sounds, like, that's kind of true. Oh, man, I can't get that column. Can I? Oh, I can. Can I get the other side? Yeah, I got that. Oh man, okay, so I think I got every column on this floor now. Hold on, let me check. Double check over here. Did I do these? Yes, I did. Okay, now I have to do these. Good thing I'm on the second floor, because if I was on the third floor, I'd be cooking right now. That sun. Yeah, I don't know. I've been I've been wanting to get like um a dog form model. I feel like when people come to my stream, they don't know what I'm supposed to be. You know, and maybe it's just me who's who thinks that just because, you know, I'm like a super niche like dog breed. Like I chose this, you know, I chose to be a Sholo for a reason. It's not, you know, and the thing is, it's even in the name. So I, you would think that people know, oh, blah, blah, blah. But when you when you pick a super niche, like I'm not like a, a golden retriever, you know what I mean? Like if I was like a lab or a golden retriever or like a beagle or something, then it'd be easily recognizable, right? But when you're a Sholoe Quaintly, people can't even say the name, you know? So it, it's a little bit more of a, um, a challenge, I think, to, you know, carve out that identity. But the thing I think that's been, oh my God, I hopped down too far. Good thing I got these trees here because they're blocking out the sun really nice for me. But yeah, you know, it, it's, it's one of those things where it's like, you can put in all the effort in the world, but you know, sometimes there's gonna be certain things about your model or your character that you just kind of have to like accept most people are not gonna understand or most people are just not going to recognize. Like, it's just gonna happen. I, you know what? Maybe I should talk about why I decided to be a Sholo as opposed to like a generic dog. We're, we're about to go down memory lane, but it'll be my memories and not yours, okay? Before I became a VTuber, I first chose what I was going to be, right? Like obviously you have to kind of figure out, okay, what am I going to be like? What am I going to look like? What am I going to represent, etc. blah, blah, blah. What kinds of thematic character creation things, right? Trauma time. This isn't trauma. This is the birth of Sholo we're talking about, okay? We're talking about the birth of me. Yeah, I think the wooden thing on the sides looks okay. I don't know. I'm just kind of like... Because originally I was going to take this and put it... <sighs> I'm conflicted. You know what? Yeah. Anything that doesn't have a window is going to have this wallpaper on the second floor. I've just decided. Fuck it. Before I started VTubing, I had to choose... Like, I knew I wanted to be, like, some kind of animal, right? 
and I knew that I wanted to be some kind of representative of death. I was so, like, guys, I'm gonna be honest, I was, like, super close to being a vulture. Super close. I almost, almost, almost was a vulture. But then I remembered I hate birds. Okay, I don't hate hate birds, I just don't like them. Yeah, but I, I was almost a vulture, fun fact. Um, part of the reason why I seriously considered being a vulture is because, you know, they're like scavengers. You see vultures hovering, like whenever like there's a scene where like someone's dying in the desert somewhere or like in, you know, out and about, you just start seeing like the shadows from the sky and you look up and these vultures and you know death is coming. Like, I think that conceptually would have made a lot of sense. But ultimately, I decided not to be a vulture. I decided to go with a sholo. Cause I, cause I actually, I like, I like sholos. Some sholos are born with hair. Fun fact. I, I decided against it. It wasn't like that close, like, but it was a contender for a while, you know? Cause I was thinking like part of the reason why I considered a vulture is because of the colors. Like, you know how like vultures have like the white with like the kind of like, you know, their head is like, like more like a pinkish red, but then like their, their body is like black and white. Like usually like a lot of the vultures, like what they kind of look like. I was thinking that the black and white could have been like a cool like outfit that, or like a, or some kind of like, I could have worn like a scarf or something, you know, for the white. Like I had some like ideas to tie it in, but I just, I just couldn't, I couldn't commit to a vulture. I was doing research, right? Cause I was looking up animals associated with death, right? Vultures popped up, a um, bunch of other animals popped up, right? And you know, eventually Sholos popped up and I was like, hold on, I've heard of Sholos before, I think. And I was like, oh, that's the hairless dog, right? And then I was like, you know what? That can be interesting because they have Mohawks, you know, like, and so I, I thought, okay, like a show though could work. And then uh, for some reason I had like Sholo Q stop, like stuck in my head. And I was like, oh my God, that's such a funny name. Like, I, I felt like that name was like, so like troll, like everything about it was just, it just made sense, you know? And it just kind of worked, you know? I feel like the name is kind of memorable and it, it just kind of rolls off the tongue really easily. And even if people say my name wrong and they say like Zolo Q, like people still know what I'm supposed to, like what I'm referring to, like what I'm supposed to be like referring to with my name. Kind of reminds me of lipstick for some reason because of the pink and the, and the red. I'm gonna switch up these window wallpapers. I think they need to be different. There we go. And as much as I've wanted to use like a single wallpaper for everything, I just really like the way this wood looks. Something about it makes me want to use it anyway. Just trying to make sure I get these going well. Man, when this castle's done, it's gonna look so freaking cool. Like, I can already tell it's it's just gonna be... This might be, like, one of my best castles yet, I think. I think the crafting castle for me is, like, probably my greatest achievement so far. And then I also have that other castle that I've been working on on my local save, but that one's not done either, and that one could also take the cake. I don't know. I feel like every time I make a new castle, I have to like up, you know, up the threshold, you know, make it more and more elaborate. And sometimes making things elaborate is not a good thing, but hey, if I'm having fun, does it really matter? <laughs> That's because the structure looks so good. It's like super unique looking. Not that my castles aren't unique usually. It's just, it, it adds like an extra layer of interesting, you know, where are the feet? I, I don't have toe beans I want to show off, man. You guys don't want to see my toe beans. It's just like, like, I remember the first time, like, I got raided. I was like, oh my god, it's time to panic. You know, it was like immediate panic. Now I'm just like, hi there. And I finally know who I am, you know? <laughs> I figured it out, guys. I figured it out. <laughs> it only took me like a year, but I figured it out. For some of the people who maybe weren't around, uh, Let's see, what, last week? Or I actually did a collab with Vin. Uh, we were playing FF14. That was a fun time. That was a fun time, and I got to to learn about Wiki Clap, which I'm not gonna let them live down. They're, they're just, I'm just gonna remind them of the Wiki Clap every time. 
Bro, that wiki gotta be trending one day, right? I feel like one day it's just gonna go viral. <laughs> You're gonna have like a bunch of people in your stream bin and they're gonna be typing wiki clap over and over again and you're gonna be like, what the fuck is happening? <laughs> like when I go into other people's chats, like I'll, I'll be on all three platforms at the same time. Even if I don't let them know that, just because, you know? Oh yeah, so I don't know if any of you guys play B Rising, but if you do, um, just keep in mind that I actually have a- I, I host a V-Rising server. It's a PvE server that's very just kind of chill, laid-back, casual server. So if you're looking to join the server and you already have the game or maybe you want to get into it, feel free to join. Um, you can actually get the info by typing exclamation point derby in the chat and it'll bring you the discord to that. By the way, that's not the fandom discord. The Phantom Discord is just exclamation mark Discord, so it's a little bit different. Um, but yeah, I figure I'd put that out there if anyone was interested in joining. Let's go in the sky and take a look. I haven't done an aerial view in a while, and I feel like I'm getting lost over here. Also, this light dimming on me is very concerning. It's weird because I thought I fixed the lighting issue, but it's starting to act up again. Oh, it looks like, I just noticed, it looks like the uh, snow flowers I put in finally grew. I put these in yesterday. They look nice, actually. They're, what do you guys think about the snow flowers on the balcony? You like it more than the, than the morning lilies? I know I do. I wonder, can I... Oh? Oh, hell yeah. Okay, I have an idea. I have to commit to the flooring if I'm going to do this because I won't be able to uh, change the floor pattern once I finalize this. Yeah, this uh, this one I'm doing here, I think it's looking really nice actually. Pretty happy with how this looks because I wanted something that was like a lead up to the throne that I'm eventually going to place here, and I think that. This is just really cool looking. I wanted to do something with like the pathings, like the garden paths before, but I just never did. I just never had a chance. What do you guys think? I like that. And then of course this hallway has like a really interesting effect. Like the, I feel like the hallway looks bigger than it actually is because of the stone pathing pattern. Like I don't, I've never seen anyone actually do this. I mean, I could be wrong. I'm sure someone out there is like way smarter than me and figured this out. 